Great news, guys. We're all going to be rich. There are 10 games on the NBA slate tonight, so we have plenty of options when it comes to stuff in our pockets full of cash. We're going to get to all of them in just a second, but before we do that, subscribe to this channel. Do it now. It just takes a second. You'll be happy you did. While you're at it, get the notifications on too. You might as well. So as you know, I'm in Aruba for a couple more days, so things are going to be a little bit different for us. I can't just bet at DraftKings and FanDuel like I normally do, so that kind of sucks. Lucky for me, I found a guy that takes player props. Guy sells beer out of the trunk of his car too, so it's a real win-win for me. The only issue is he doesn't post lines until like way late in the day. So by then, the market's already been hammered into shape. On top of that, there's no alt lines. It's just straight up standard lines. It kind of sucks. I'm in the shit here, but that's my problem, not yours. If you're you at home, you can just bet Jalen Duran over 16 and a half points plus 120 at DraftKings. Before you say in the comments that his standard line's 15 and a half, I know that. I'm saying go 16 and a half for the plus money. Here's the thing. Cade Cunningham's out, so there are plenty of shots to go around for the Detroit Pistons. Obviously, that favors a couple guys in Detroit, but Duran is the one I like the most. For starters, in the game that Cunningham got hurt, Duran went for 20 points. He took over. He knew what time it was. He didn't even play the entire game because the Pistons got their asses kicked so bad. It was a beating. Then, last night, he only played 23 minutes because of foul trouble. It was a ref show. They legit called everything. The guy was out there just playing lockdown defense, and he got caught up in the mix. It happened sometimes. But let's not forget, the guy still scored 16 points. What a beast. With that being said, he should be well rested for the San Antonio Spurs tonight. I think this game stays relatively close, so we should see Duran for 30 plus minutes. And those minutes are gonna be coming against the team, the Spurs, that just gave up 29 points to Jared Allen the other night. Point is, they can be had. So if you're a psycho, you might wanna go 18 plus, plus 150, or even 20 plus, plus 235. It's all deadly. Another guy that's gonna profit from Cunningham being out, Jaden Ivey. Why not go over 21 and a half points plus 115 at DraftKings. Shop around because this thing could be better somewhere else or as the day goes on, it's just I found this at DraftKings right now and I gotta get back to the beach, so this is where I'd do it if I were you. If you remember last season, Ivy took a million shots per game when Cunningham was out. We all saw him do it. Well, guess what happened last night? He led the Detroit Pistons in shot attempts with 17. The kid took nine threes. He's not even a good three-point shooter. He only hit two of them, but whatever. We want guys that we know are gonna shoot the ball, and this guy's gonna shoot the ball. He's just our guy for that. I can already hear the haters now. Well, John, if he can't shoot, then why do we wanna bet on him? He doesn't have to have this great night to get to 21 and a half points. If he just has a decent night shooting, we can get over this number. We're not asking for a miracle here. He has the right opponent for this too. The Spurs play very fast and little to no defense. They're my kind of team. Plus, neither team is good enough to run away from the other one, so we should get a close game where everybody plays their full complement of minutes. On top of that, we just need one of these guys to hit for us to profit tonight. This feels right. I'll see you guys on the live stream later. Don't forget to turn on the notifications.